welcome to the Source Computing. Uh, this is Pete. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about how to install and do full disk encryption with TrueCrypt. Uh, first I'm going to walk you through basically getting it off the internet and installing it. And then basically we're going to pick our encryption settings and uh, go from there. So let's see here. We're going to bring up uh, Google here and just do a search for TrueCrypt. Otherwise you can just go to TrueCrypt.com I believe. Excuse me. And um, this is basically the TrueCrypt website. It is open source project, so it is free. Uh, if you click on downloads, and then we're going to download the version for XP and Vista. Let's click on download here. And we'll just save it right to the desktop, I think. Since I already have it on there, we're just going to replace it. It's a pretty small installer. It does work well for uh, encrypting flash drives as well as just doing file encryption as well. So here's our installer, then we're going to click on that. We'll say yep. And we do accept the terms and agreements. We're just going to install it. And the default location for the path is just fine. And it's asking us if we want to read the tutorials. Um, we're not going to. You, of course, could at home um, read them, study them, so you know what you're doing, getting yourself into. So let's just say no, finish. And then basically, okay, so now basically TrueCrypt is installed. We're just going to click on TrueCrypt here. And once inside, basically, um, there's a whole bunch of options here we can go through, basically. Uh, what we're going to be looking for is actually under system here. I just went by, but I'll just give you a quick uh, look through here. Um, it's a very powerful tool and a very good tool. Um, these guys have done an amazing job in the, in the community there. Um, so basically what we want to do is we're going to do encrypt system partition slash drive. And we're going to click on that and it's going to say what do we want to do? Do we just want to do the partition that Windows is located on or do we want to do the whole drive? And for us it's actually we're going to do the whole drive. So we're going to say next. And this is a single boot partition, so we're going to say next again. And now we come to the part, basically it's going to ask us what algorithm, um, encryption algorithm, do we want to use. And for us, um, basically the nice thing is you can do a benchmark down here. And so you can say benchmark, and it will test all the different types of encryption um, that you can do and tell you basically what the read writes um, per second will be um, on using that encryption. So for us, I think we're going to use... Um, we use this really, really high-powered one, AES, Two Fish, and Serpent all in one, which is very, I mean, pretty much overload, but um, that's one we're going to select. So up here we're going to go um, AES, Two Fish, and Serpent, and then that the hash, the hash algorithm will be just fine for what we're doing. Um, so we're going to click Next, and it says Warning. Um, yep, so we're just going to say Yes. And now basically we've come to the part where we're going to create our password. Um, so you want to pick a strong password. I'm, characters are great. Um, upper or lower case, you want to make it, mix some numbers in there. The maximum character length is 64 characters, so you can't get too crazy. But I mean, um, for right now, we're just going to use um, the source beauty. Oops, I mistyped that there. happens when you're being watched huh so now basically it's going to do some random data and this is a very strong random uh, data generator basically what it's doing is it's working after your mouse moves every time you move your mouse it's changing the key and it's mixing that in it's called a salt um, that will mix in basically with the key so you get a very strong random key so you just move your mouse around a little bit just push next and basically those are the two keys now it's generated for our encryption of our volume so we're just going to click next and the rescue disk. Now, this part is a little bit more complex. Um, basically, what we need to do is it's going to save out a bootable ISO. And this is in case the drive would ever get damaged or corrupt or something rewrites the master boot sector or anything like that. Basically, this will basically recover the drive. So if it, you know if something happens um, 
on the hard disk itself and something gets corrupted, this will basically try to fix your encrypted data so it's not totally lost. Because you have to remember when you're doing folder disk encryption is that if the hard drive would fail, um, your chances of sending it to like OnTrack or something, you're not going to be able to get your data back I mean, for the most part. So um, what we're going to do is just click next here and it's going to save that out. Now what we do need to do is burn that to a CD. And for doing that, there's, they have a couple great little tools here. If you click um, this ISO recorder, is an excellent uh, free tool that works very, very well. Um, basically, you can just scroll down here, and we want it for uh, Windows Service Pack 2. So let's click on that. And up here, we'll say, click here to get it. We'll say run. It's very small, um, very efficient. Basically, click next. You agree to the license. Yes, yes, yes. And. Um, So now basically it's installed, and basically we can just burn um, that to a CD. And basically, TrueCrypt will not let us proceed until that is burned. So now, if you want, if you click on My Documents, and that's where we saved our TrueCrypt Rescue Disk. And if you just right click on that and you say Copy Image to CD, that's the nice thing about that program is you have that option. So you basically just say that we'd insert our CD, and basically we'll write it right to there. Now I don't have a CD burned on this computer, so. We're gonna do it a little bit of a, a different okay so now basically we have inserted the CD so we're ready to push continue and we're basically just gonna click next and it says that the rescue disk is verified so that's great we're gonna say next um, this would basically or this part here where it says white mode this would basically erase um, anything that was on the drive before and then it'll rewrite it encrypted so if there's um, anything that's been written on the disk before we're not gonna do that just because nothing on the disk before is real critical to us so say none um, and then we say test and say okay and now basically we have to restart our computer and it's going to start the encryption process so let's get started so let's see it should shut down here and then basically it's going to ask us to prompt in our password here and we're just going to type that in so let's see if it works and it did So now Windows is back up and running, it looks like. Excellent. And basically, here's the process that's going to ask us now to start encrypting the drive. So we're just going to say encrypt. We're going to say OK. And this is going to take about six, seven minutes. Um, and I'll be back. Okay, so now basically the whole drive is encrypted, and that's what it's telling us. So we can just click here and say uh, finish, and we're done. So now basically our whole hard drive is encrypted. So now if our laptop gets stolen, um, you know, somebody takes it, tries to get into it, basically before they can even access anything on the hard drive, they're going to be prompted with that password. And if they try to use a disk recovery tool on it, um, all, all attempts are going to be spoiled because it's just random noise in the disk. I mean, the computer doesn't know. Without that key to decipher everything, it's just, you know, a ball of garbage. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for watching. This has been Pete Mooney with The Source Computing. Thanks.